Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. On this session, we're going to learn how to create a parallax effect using Flinto. And it's going to look something like this. So I have Flinto here, I open my prototype and see how the mountains move and come back. And I can also control them with my swipe. And then they can also go up being controlled by my swipe. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I did was create my design on Sketch. And I used the basic triangle shapes to just start creating the mountains. And then I added some colors, some gradients, and I created my own graphic style for each uh, layer of, of mountains. And then I added a gradient on top as a light, just to add a little bit of uh, depth. And then I added a background color, a couple of suns, some clouds that I think I spent too much on these clouds. <laughs> and that was it, pretty simple. Okay, so I have finished the design. Uh, as you can see, I have created three different groups of mountains. One which is near, one which is in the middle, and one which is the, the most far away. It's a little bit more distant. And then I also added some sun and some elements like clouds and the background. So <clears throat> the first thing that you want to know is how to create the parallax effect. And you do this by creating motion. And when you create motion, uh, you make the closest objects or the closest uh, things move faster and the objects that are more distant move a little bit slower and that creates a little bit of depth and probably you are familiar with this effect if you are in a car and you look through the window you're going to see the mountains that are far away move like they seem like they're not moving and the cars or houses that are closer to you uh, move really fast and so yeah let's create that effect right right now and <clears throat> we're going to do this in Flinto and what we're going to learn is how to connect layers and using swipe just so let's go ahead and just send this to Flinto using the Flinto plugin and the Flinto plugin will allow you to have sent to Flinto. If you don't have the Flinto plugin, just go to Flinto for Mac, uh, search Flinto for Mac and then you will find the Flinto plugin there. And so I have sent to Flinto and automatically it detects that I'm using uh, the device size of an iPad Pro and I'm going to say yes and send it to Flinto. It opens Flinto for me. And our, <clears throat> I can see that I still have all the different objects, all the different groups and the same names. So I can start designing. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to leave this as a reference, as the first, as the starting point, And I'm going to duplicate this artboard. I'm just going to put it around here. And then here I can start moving the objects. So the first thing that I want to do is the one that is the nearest. See how it's, it's all the way outside the artboard on the right. I'm going to move it now. All the way outside the artboard but on the left so it moves super fast high speed all the way to the left and then this object I'm going to actually put it around here around there probably around here and actually I'm going to edit the original one and I'm going to put this one around here it starts around there and then probably my this one is going to be in the center a little bit off to the right and the uh, farthest away I'm going to put it on the second uh, artboard. I'm going to put it far away, <clears throat> sorry on this one, far away I'm going to put it on the center. So align it horizontally and probably this artboard should move around there. Yeah, it's okay. You just play around with the objects until uh, you get the size that you want sorry the uh, distance that you want and okay so it starts there it starts a little bit funky in a, <laughs> a little bit of a weird weird place around there it should be good there you go and let's see how let's just start now that i have created the elements i have moved them uh i can start connecting layers so another thing that i want to do is actually make these clouds move a little bit so the clouds will move just a tiny bit, a bit. And actually the clouds, I'm going to move them to the right since uh, apparently the air is coming from the left. And they're just moving a little bit. And then the sun 
It's going to move a little bit up, and that's it. That's all. We see time, and probably the sun shouldn't even move, but for this test, we'll, we're going to keep it moving. And, okay, so now I'm going to, to this layer, to this group, I'm going to add a gesture, and this gesture is going to be a left swipe. And, sorry, let's do a tap, just for testing. We can change it to left swipe later. So tap, and then this one is going to be the new artboard. The target is going to be the new artboard, and we're going to create a new transition. So once we are in the new transition, we're in the transition designer, and now <clears throat> we want to put the artboard of the end screen in the middle of, of the guides. These guides represent what is going to be seen inside the, uh, inside the screen. So I have it there, and now I can start connecting layers. To connect layers, you select with uh, select a layer here on the on the on the layers list, and then for example, you can even select the group. You can connect groups, and I'm going to connect these two by command clicking, connect layer, connect these two. So <clears throat> all the layers that have the same name, I'm going to connect them, and almost done. The suns will connect to and the background will connect to so let's see how it looks it's pretty fast probably too fast so what I can do is all of these I can select with shift and just select all of them and then here on the timing instead of uh, instead of uh, spring I'm going to actually use a classic ease in ease out and instead of 300 milliseconds which is the default I'm going to change it to let's say 2000 milliseconds which is two seconds and let's test it out Okay, it's, uh, it's starting to look good. Um, we can preview it. I'm going to preview it here. I'm going to just tap, and I can see the effect already happening. I'm going to go to home, and probably I can make it a little bit slower. So instead of two seconds, I'm going to make it three seconds. <clears throat> see, it's, it's a little bit smoother, right? And it's looking good. Um, now, I'm going to save and exit. That's the basic of it. And now instead of uh, instead of being a tap, I'm going to make it. I'm going to change the gesture to a left swipe. Sorry, I have. I need to remove this one. So I'm going to create it left swipe, and I'm going to preview. And now, in response to my to my left swipe, the animation is the uh, all the position and everything of on the X is responding to my gesture. And at the end, once I I let it go, it goes really fast. So be careful with that. I wish it was a little bit slower, but that's how it is. And it's pretty fast, actually. But anyway, you can you can also add one more gesture that is just tap, and it's going to be the same, which is uh, the target is going to be the same, and we're going to reuse the transition that we just created. Actually, I'm going to edit this transition. I'm going to say uh, parallax. That's it. And to change it to parallax, and I can reuse it in a different uh, in a different gesture. And now we can preview it just with a tap and moves, but it also moves with my gesture. That's cool. Okay, and now I want to go back. So all I can what I can do is on this guy over here on the second paragraph, uh, uh, second artboard that I created, I can just uh, add a gesture, and this one is going to be a right swipe, and I'm going to put the uh, original uh, artboard as a target, and I'm going to uh, use the same transition, but in reverse. And let's see how it looks. There you go. And I can add another gesture, which is tap. And this tap is going to take me back. Also, just to create a loop. And the transition is going to be parallax, done. Now let's preview it. And over here, I press tap and it goes back. And that's all cool. Now, I want to create another uh, transition, but the parallax is going to be coming from below. So it's like you, if you were scrolling from below and then the objects disappear in the horizon. So I'm going to, I'm going to rename this one to parallax two. And I'm going to duplicate this artboard. This artboard over here, I'm going to rename it to parallax three, just so I know what's going on. And on this one, the first thing that I want to do is remove these gestures. And now I want to move these guys up. So the same principle, the closer the elements, and I'm going to actually remove this one because it's not there. The closer the elements, the, uh, the slower they move. So, sorry, the faster they move. So this guy moves a little bit slower around there. And then the sun and the clouds, I'm going to just lift them there. Actually, the clouds, I'm going to even move them down. 
And also, I'm going to add another layer. It's a rectangle here. And this layer is going to be on top of it. So and this is going to be a dark layer, a dark blue. And you're going to see what's going to happen here. I'm going to put it a little bit larger. And then I'm going to copy it. And then on the uh, Parallax 2, I'm going to paste it and move it all the way to, th to the bottom. This one is going to be top, top and top over here. And now I'm going to create a gesture here. And this gesture is going to be swipe up, up swipe. And the target is going to be the new uh, artwork that I created. And I'm going to create a new transition. And in this transition, as always, I'm going to put the uh, end screen in the middle of my transition designer. And I will also start connecting the layers. So the top is connected, the middle is connected, far is connected, and so on. And near is not, it's not there, so it doesn't connect because it doesn't appear on the last one. So you can just leave it alone. And the rest, you just need to connect all of the rest. There you go. So let's see how what's going on. And as you can see, it's uh, it's happening. So let's just set out on the preview. So I move it over here, and then I move up, and things disappear. So I move it to the left, move it to the right, move it to the left, and then I move up, and then it disappears. And that's it. That's pretty much it. You can probably uh, fine tune all the elements. I'm going to actually create also, I'm going to go to back to uh, sketch, and I'm going to create a new uh, layer that is, this one is going to take me back. I'm going to make it blue. Probably this blue. I'm going to say go back. And this is just going to be a nice uh, button that takes me back. So I'm going to put this as white. I'm going to group this button. And this is not necessary, but I, I want to do it. So over here, on this, I'm just copy pasting. And then I'm going to limit button. And then over here and the original, I'm going to put it here too, but I'm going to. It's going to be, sorry, it's going to be this one, copy, paste, I'm going to put it around here. And the opacity, I'm going to change it to 0%. And now I'm going to go back to the transition, the up swipe, and the transition, and then I'm going to connect those two layers, the button. I'm going to connect them, and now let's see how it looks. There you go. So let's preview it. I swipe up, and then the go back appears. And then obviously save and exit the go back. I'm going to put it at a gesture tap. And this one, I will just use uh, the target of the original uh, artboard. And the transition is going to be a fade in, just the uh, the template fading that uh, Flinta provides. Now let's preview it. Swipe, swipe up, then click it and fade it, fade it, fades in and creates a loop for me. There you go. So that's it. Uh, now you can you can do this on your own. Let's preview it in, in full screen. Oh yeah. Let's tap and then let's go up. There you go. Okay, cool. So hopefully you, uh, just a recap, you understood, understood how to connect layers and how to use uh, different gestures on the same element, like tap or left swipe, you can use, and also how to uh, reuse transitions. And yeah, cool. If you create a parallax effect like this, I would love to see it. Just leave it in the comments or, I don't know, create a video. And that would be awesome to see. Thank you.